Hey, what's up, fellas? How you doing? Man, it's here. Hey, what's going on, guys? How we doing? Matt Antonelli here. So, uh, we're talking today in field play, and uh, we talk a lot about footwork. I think it's obviously vitally important. Um, if you don't have the right footwork, even the routine play becomes, it's not routine anymore, right? And so what I want to focus on today is when I get into the ball and I'm about to field it, right? So I get down into position to field. I try to get down into this position right here. I need to go right left to field the ball. Now, we talk about that a lot. I've put up all types of big leaguers doing it. Um, but I want to go more in depth and show you some of the issues that I see. Uh, because I was working with a couple of infielders yesterday in lessons and uh, even though they were trying to go right left field, they're having a tough time doing it and it was because of a few different things, okay? So, uh, the first thing I'll start off with is if you have a player, especially a young player, that doesn't, they, they can't get a feel for right, left field. And again, that might seem simple, but I work with tons of players, especially young players. They'll come in and do all different things. So some will come in and go left, right field, right? I can't go left, right field, left, right field, because when I go left, right field, my momentum is going this way. I, I got to throw the ball this way, right? So if you go left, right field, now I've got to stop my momentum and go left, right left it's just too many it's too many steps right so that's one thing so you see a lot of other players they'll come in and they'll hop so they'll come to the ball and they'll hop both people hit the, ball, the ground at the same time but once you hop and land if you hop and land now my feet are dead right and so my goal is to keep my feet moving always have some rhythm always have some momentum going towards first again when i come in and i go right left field, you see how my momentum's going to the left. Once I put my left foot down, I'm starting to move towards my target. That's the key, okay? So now, the issues that I see, um, or sorry, we're back up for a second. So the first thing I'll do is I'll draw a box. It might be a little bit hard to see on camera, but I'll draw two squares, okay? If you don't have dirt, just put down uh, a cone, you can put down anything where they can stand on, all right? And you, if you explain it, I want you to come to this ball, I want you to put your right foot in this box first, and then put your left foot in this box second, all right? And so just start literally right here, and just have them come up and go right, left field. And just have them do that over and over again. Right, left field. But having the two boxes or having two markers on the ground really helps the player, especially young players. This is what I recommend doing with all the young players at first. So they get comfortable with it, okay? Um, so that's the first thing. Now, why might they have trouble with this? The first thing I see is if they don't get to the right of the ball. So when the ball's hit, I need to get to the right of the ball so that when I approach it, I can go right, left, field it, and I can go towards my left. Move this up here a little bit. But if you get to the left of the ball and attack it straight on, Right, so some, some players will get to the left of the ball or straight on, and they're coming in like this. Well now, if the ball's to my right instead of to my left, I can't go right, left field. The ball's over here. So what do those players do? They come in like this, and they either hop to the ball, or they come in and they go left, right to get back to center. So I've got to get to the right of the ball. My first step should be to the right of the ball, get the ball on my left there. Now I can work back through it, right, left field, right, left throw. Okay? So that's one big thing. Being to the left of the ball instead of being to the right of the ball. Or again, straight on. The player can be straight on to the ball and they're probably going to hop. Now the second thing is breaking down their, their footwork and going from big steps to small steps. All right? So when I'm back here and the ball's hit, I'm going to start off by taking big steps. I'm going to run to the ball. But as I get close to the ball, I have to break down my footwork. I have to get my steps to be smaller. So I go big steps to small steps. When I go small steps, now I can time it out. So I can right, left. But if I'm just going big steps the whole way, if I'm going big steps the whole way, well, 
if I just happen to be going big step into my right foot, well then maybe it'll time out right. But if I'm going big steps and I happen to go left foot here, well then I'm gonna go right foot, right? So I can't time it out. So it's gotta be big steps to small steps. And when I go small steps, a couple, a couple pitter patters, now I can right foot, left foot. Right, I can time that out so much better. So the two big things that I see, not getting the right of the ball, not going big to small. If you do those two things, it'll be much easier to then go right left field, right left throw. Okay? Hopefully that makes sense. I'm out of breath. I'm not even moving anywhere. But that's all we have for today. Thanks so much for watching. I appreciate it. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell. Give it a thumbs up. All that good stuff. We're going to go play some baseball now. We'll talk to you later.